want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. Where I talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to say thank you for everybody that's been smashing that like button. Definitely trying to get to a thousand likes a video. Please smash that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I encourage you to do so. I'm going to keep you up to date daily on everything crypto. Jumping right into the market today, crypto. Green Day, overall market cap of cryptocurrency, $174 billion. Bitcoin at just under 6,200. This is a Bitcoin weekly chart. Paying attention to this weekly candle right now, it's important for the bulls that we close above the 200 weekly simple moving average. This is gonna take place in approximately 24 hours. This is a pretty big sign, bullish sign, a victory for the bulls, if you will. So let's see how this candle closes. Bitcoin, so we talked about yesterday, a potential parabolic rise to the upside, and we did have a pretty fast move to the upside. I mean, if you think about it, on the 16th of March, we were down here at 4,300. We ran all the way up to about 7,000, pretty parabolic at that point. However, we did break the parabola. So now, essentially Bitcoin is riding on the support level right around 6150. I think we're going to see a pretty big move uh, between now and potentially Monday night. So watching the crypto markets intensely. Now it's the Bitcoin two hour chart. So the parabolic price rise broke to the downside. Now here's a bullish idea, possible cup and handle. Love these guys. When they play out, huge moves to the upside. Now we could see 8,000 if this is confirmed. So again, breakout volume, candle body close above this confirmation line, and we would buy that breakout, which also shows confluence of the 200 simple coming into the picture. Now we've got a possibility of a bullish MACD cross on the two hour chart. You also have a cup and handle on the RSI as well, which adds validity to this idea. However, the support level right around 6K must hold a good bounce to the upside and a breakout you know, you definitely want to be in that trade or any USDT traded altcoin. So all eyes on Bitcoin. What's new? Let's be real now. We always got to be realistic. There's always a bearish scenario we have to acknowledge. So bearish scenario here is we've got a rising broadening wedge, 68% chance of a break to the downside. We're looking to see how this reacts. And this is going to happen over the next uh, probably 8 to 12 hours. We'll see some type of reaction here with this trend line. And so again, watching that for clues of things going forward. Remember, this is not, hey, I wanna predict what the future is going to hold. I wanna be able to watch these specific points to give up probability. I wanna create an edge when I trade this market. I want this edge to play out over time. Am I gonna, am I gonna be wrong? Yes. Am I gonna be right? Yes. But over time, I create an edge. I take small losses instead of big ones. So, I mean, you enter 100 trades, and you invest a dollar in each trade, you lose 50 of them, you lost 50 bucks. But on your winning trades, you want to win, you know, two or three dollars per trade. So you can be up 150%. If you now we've got declining volume, we should see a move soon. You know, I'm thinking Monday night or sooner, uh, East Coast time. You know, Monday, I'll show you, I've got an important chart that you're going to want to see coming up. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, working together, posting charts. I got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading this market at all, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Probably a lot of people have some time right now on their hands, potentially. It's a great time to learn to trade this market. Number one reason people join the group is they want to be in the best coins possible. I post profitable trading setups on a daily basis and we've been just killing it lately. It's so much more fun when this market's moving higher. The data, 266% gains out of data. Again, this setup was posted on the 14th, six days ago. Huge pump for data. If you wanna join the cryptocurrency tr trading group, you wanna pay in crypto, email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months, you get 20% off. You pay for the year, you get 30% off and an additional month for free. If you do wanna pay with a card month to month, you can do so. There's a Patreon link in the description. You guys gotta remember the group is cheap. It's not designed to be expensive. It pays for itself in a couple trades.
This is Dash. I talked to you guys about this the other day. Dash up 65% after it broke out of this falling wedge. This is IOST. I posted IOST this morning. Like 30 minutes later, boom, 26% gains in IOST. Uh, Bitcoin Cash has been another one. It's probably up more than 30% now. So the cool part about the trading group is everybody's working together. You know, this person said, hey, shout out to, to Big Easy for this trade. I doubled my money in this trade setup that you posted. Another person posted an ADA chart and Dylan said, ADA's made me $10,000 so far. Next person said, CBC, I'm up $29,000 this week because of you and your group. Amazing setups. Thank you for all you do. Bitcoin was designed for a financial crisis. Paper money is being shunned for the fear of the panic situation that's going on in society. Cash is no longer king. There's a growing number of businesses and individuals worldwide that have stopped using banknotes in the fear that physical currency handled by tens of thousands of people is just becoming too dangerous to hold, right? So one interesting thought here is there's a, a lady in my trading group and she talks to children, families about investing in alternative forms. Uh, gold and silver as an example, her group, I talked to her on the phone the other day. She said, Chris, I'm gonna send some, some people that wanna sign up for your group. I'm gonna send some people to you. And sure enough, like immediately, you know, essentially people started signing up. So her business has 10 x recently. So on a global scale, she went from teaching, you know, at a, at a school previously, and now she's teaching children globally, you know? So what we must understand here, there's a paradigm shift happening right now. There's a lot of people that have reached out and they said, Chris, I've lost my job and you know, I want to join your trading group. I want to, there's this huge shift in potentially the economy, you know, this is going to make people realize and understand that a lot of, there's a lot of power by these centralized bodies, corporations, as an example. When, when you're collecting a paycheck from somebody else, like you're at their mercy, like, hey, sorry, we're gonna have to let you go. You, we, we know you work at this restaurant, but we have no business, right? All of a sudden, you're unable to create wealth, you know, even just basic, providing the basics of your family. So I think a lot of people are gonna realize in the short term, things are changing. Things are different. You have to look at things from a different perspective. Fear and greed index right now is a nine. Yesterday it was a nine, last week it was a 12. You wanna counter trade your emotions. As an example, when Bitcoin ran up to 14,000, it was a 95 greedy. And we all know what happened to 14,000 real quick, quick pullback. So here we are, extreme fear. Could we go lower? Of course. But once fear gets to a point, those whales, what do they do? They come in and they buy, 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 buy. Now, this is after hours trading. The S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Dow have kind of stabilized. Like, they're down, you know, almost 1%. But on Friday, they closed down, you know, 4%. So it's kind of stabilized. So potentially a good sign for Monday. I want to talk to you guys about the bear tokens on Binance. And they've really given... Uh, a lot of people, a lot more power as far as trading this market. I mean, think about it. How many times were you in a, you, you in a potential trade or you have the idea like, hey, Bitcoin's going to drop in price. And so this, these are an easy way to trade this market the opposite direction. The game changes when you can profit off of Bitcoin's move to the downside. Okay, so you know, there's a Binance link in the description. If you want to use that, that's great. If not, I understand. The point is, these are only 3x leverage tokens, and there's you know EOS Bear, ETH Bear, XRP Bear, and you can essentially profit off the moves to the downside. So the panic situation going on in the world today could potentially reignite interest in some privacy coins, Zcash and Monero. And so you got to remember that the privacy of citizens across the world, essentially, they're being tracked through surveillance technology in the cell phones and countries that have used this phone data to track the spread of the panic situation uh, include China, Israel, and Iran. So now the United States government has even been talking about using this surveillance technology on its own citizens. 
So this idea is these privacy coins spark some interest. Like, let's face it, there, there has to be some level of privacy in our daily lives, right? You can't have everything out there. So potentially, yeah, there's a need and a use case for privacy coins going forward. Zillica partners with global media company Moving Walls to launch the world's first blockchain powered digital out of the home campaign for mobile food delivery giant Food Panda. So this company has partnered with 27,000 restaurants in 193 cities. But what a lot of local restaurants are doing is they're they're closing but they're offering curbside service. You know, so this could potentially be big for Zillica. You know, always good to see uh, Zillica, any other cryptocurrencies in the news. But what I want you to see is the chart. What's happening here with Zillica is you got these rounded bottoms, rounded bottoms, rounded bottoms, right? They're like waves. And so if you were to buy in this area of the rounded bottoms, once they kind of flatten out, like you, you skip the downtrend, you're essentially buying the bottom and selling the top, right? Buy low, sell high, the basics of everything we do. Okay, so here's Zillica now. Now that news seems like it's epic curbside service. Zillica's partnering with them. Well, hasn't really moved much at all. Over time, you could potentially get this rounded bottom because you get, you've got this strong line of support down here. If you guys haven't picked up a Ledger Nano X or Ledger Nano S right now, you can buy these on sale at a Ledger uh, website. The link is in the description, does support the channel. Maybe you're not a trader, you want to keep your coins safe and you keep them offline and you put them on a ledger hardware wallet. Now this is important and this is why I think we're gonna get a big move on Monday because big picture, this triangle, these two trend lines are going to meet. Potentially we see a 10% move to the upside or the downside. Are we gonna be, and this is gonna set the tone. This is gonna set the tone for next month potentially. I mean, we could we could put in a double bottom, come down here to 5,000, double bottom, and then reverse and move higher. You know, so that's, even if we do break lower, that's a potential scenario versus, you know, rolling over. And again, the break higher, remember, like we talked about in the beginning of the video, the break higher would give us a cup and handle pattern with a target close to 8,000. So there's a big move in store. This is link setup I post in the group up 40%. But the important thing I want to talk to you about here is, Sometimes you can look at these USDT traded pairs and you can kind of see, well, let's just turn some of these indicators off. If you can imagine, this is almost like a head and inverse head and shoulders pattern, okay? And so you see, you got your shoulder, your head, and potentially if we move and break to the upside, it would have to break above $2.45 and to be confirmed and close above there. But if that happens, again, you'd, you'd, you'd look for uh, you know, essentially a 70 cent move to the upside based on that pattern. You know, so sometimes you can get better clarity and there's similar patterns on these USDT traded coins. So keep an eye on those. The miners, have you heard about this? The miners, Bitcoin miners are being urged to help the panic research, right? And so here, this is on block forums and this they want you to join this team and start mining, start devoting some of your CPU power to mining instead of crypto, do it for a good cause. And so what they're trying to do here is this, this is a project that simulates several myosins found in the human body. Myosins are proteins responsible for the most force generated by the body from the contraction of muscles to the movement of materials around the cell. In a nutshell, what we're seeing is miners potentially being asked to do something besides mine cryptocurrency to save the world. Miners saving society. Interesting paradigm. Like, what does this do to the having? Potentially, we're going to see more miners moving to, to, to help this panic-driven research as well. Interesting shift happening as we speak. The United States government's answer to everything is a fistful of dollars. Another epic fail. The United States loves to throw money at it. The Federal Reserve is going to lend an additional trillion a day to large banks. Somebody says down here, can we, can we in crypto, can we get a bailout? Can we, a trillion a day to the large banks? It doesn't matter all the times that you've gotten 
caught big banks, all the fraudulent ideas and th things that you've been caught doing for sure and you've been fined billions and billions and billions of dollars, we're still going to bail you out because essentially the economy needs you to survive. So the Fed is trying to clear markets by ramping up its purchases on Friday. It bought 75 billion of treasuries, 47 billion of mortgage-backed securities. So remember, in 2012, the third round of their quantitative easing, they bought 45 billion in a month. So just think, they bought on Friday 75 billion in treasuries and 47 billion of mortgage-backed securities. Huge bailout. All in all, the New York Fed has bought 280 billion in treasuries, more than half of its planned 500 billion, 500 billion. On Friday, it said it's gonna buy 100 billion of mortgage-backed bonds next week, including a billion on Monday. It's all gonna happen on Monday. Interesting idea here. So there are three United States senators that were caught red-handed selling their stocks while they downplay the effect of the panic situation globally. And they had some insider information and they got caught red-handed. Um, now, th this article is talking about how Charlie Lee of Litecoin did basically the same, something similar they, they're saying. You know, Charlie Lee sold the top. I, I don't know if I feel like this is a good comparison because Charlie Lee, a lot of people are mad at Charlie Lee because he potentially made some money. People are jealous. People are like, why did you sell all your Litecoin? Because he's been through it. One thing about this market, we're all going to learn. Like, you can't just keep holding these downtrends. When Bitcoin's at 20000 again next time and you see a parabolic price rise, more people are going to sell it. When, you, when we ran up to 14000 people took profits. Next time we run up to 20000 or 50000 whatever it is, people are going to know hey, I've been through this time and time again. It's time to sell. I don't think Charlie Lee did anything wrong. But this person stated, you should look and see how many CEOs pulled a Charlie Lee. And they resigned last year. According to this person, they're saying a lot of the CEOs used the business to take out loans and then they bought back their own stock to pump it up. Basically stating that they all just exit scams. So this is kind of a... You know, I'd like to check into this and research this more. If you have any insight on this, definitely. I was actually four senators instead of three, four senators uh, that were caught doing this. But anyways, the point is, if you have any more info on this, definitely leave a comment in the comment box. If you like the content that I provide on a daily basis, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.